we'll do a body weight warm up for Wednesday. We're gonna start with some wall squats. Have your feet six to 12 inches from the wall. Focus on pushing the knees out as the hips go back and descend below the knees. Slow and controlled. We're working to keep our chest up and our arms straight. Really challenging squat variation. Then we're gonna lay down for some glute bridges. We'll go through a glute bridge progression. So we'll start with both heels and feet on the floor. 10 glute bridges, pushing the feet into the ground, extending the hips. Then we'll go five single leg glute bridges per side. And then five glute bridge walkouts. Small steps on the heels, walking forward, keeping the hips off the ground, and then walking back, five reps. Then we'll flip over into a down dog stretch for 30 seconds. Pushing the hips up high, pushing the shoulders, or sorry, the head and chest through the arms towards the ground. Then we'll do a active twist across. We'll lay down, chest down on the ground, extend either arm to the side, and then we'll twist the hips. And we're gonna alternate side to side for five reps, holding for a couple seconds each time. Then we'll stand. We're gonna do some squat variations. Uh, let's move over to our barbell. We'll start with lateral squats. So step your feet twice as wide as the shoulders. Keep pushing the squatting knee out so it stays stacked above the foot and try to keep your chest up. Then holding on to a barbell or dumbbell, we'll do warrior squats. So you're gonna sit down nice and low, use that barbell to pull your hips down and then alternate reaching one hand up towards the sky, rotating the chest up as you do these. After your 10 reps, stand up and 10 regular air squats. After that, we'll do the barbell warm up and then we'll do a couple stretches. Start out on the floor for a front rack stretch. So elbows on the floor, hands behind the head, pushing the head and chest down. From there, go into a forearm stretch. Everyone likes to do these a little bit differently. Taylor, do you have any advice for forearm stretches? I like to start this way and then work into the outside one. Okay. So spend anywhere from one to two minutes, again the forearms, and then we'll use a upright or a wall for a lat stretch. You'll have your hand behind your head, place that upper arm against your wall or upright, and then gently push the lats and uh, upper arm towards the upright. 30 seconds per side. We're gonna do a barbell interval workout today. We're gonna have a three minute AMRAP. So this is nice and quick. In three minutes, you're doing max reps of the wise man complex. The wise man complex is three power cleans from the floor. Make sure you're getting your back straight, chest up. Taylor's gonna bring the bar from the ground to make contact at the mid thigh. Then she extends the hips and receives the bar in the front rack. After your third rep, we're gonna go right into three front squats, focused on keeping the elbows up and descending through a full depth squat, right into three push jerks. Dip and drive, jumping off the ground as you punch under the bar and then stand and lock out to finish. You're doing that complex as many times as you can in three minutes. Opening round is 135 or 95, then you'll rest three minutes, add weight to the barbell. Next three minute interval is gonna be same thing at 155 or 105, rest three minutes, final three minute AMRAP at 185 or 135. Then you're gonna have a five minute recovery and then at the 20 minute mark, you're gonna have seven minutes to build to a heavy complex of one power clean, followed by three front squats, followed by one shoulder to overhead. That can be push jerk, split jerk, uh, push press, whatever you feel most consistent and uh, strongest with. You're building to a heavy complex in seven minutes. If you're using a pair of dumbbells, we're gonna do a three minute AMRAP of three double dumbbell power cleans. Single head the dumbbell makes contact on the floor three double dumbbell front squats, and then three double dumbbell push jerks. Let's try to be deliberate about punching under those dumbbells and getting them locked out and stabilized 
overhead. You're gonna have three minute AMRAP followed by three minutes recovery, repeat three total times.